to do something different. Before I share my goals with you, I want to give you some tips on how you can reach any goals that you set in 2019. Hey y'all, it's your girl Rose and I have to start off this video by saying Happy New Year. It is 2019. That's wild. It's wild that it's 2019, but it is. And I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you made it through 2018. I'm glad you made it through the struggle. I'm glad you had great moments of joy. I'm glad you had great moments of growth. I'm glad you're here. But now let's get into it. So I was thinking about my goals for 2019 and I'm someone who always writes down my goals. I have a vision board. I share my goals with others. Why? Because I think that the more we put our goal in front of us, the more we talk about our goals, the more we plan for our goals, the better we will be at reaching our goals, right? I know there's plenty of people in the world of social media that are like mad at people for making New Year's resolutions or New Year's goals or whatever the case may be, but I think those people are stupid. I do. I think any time that you decide to better yourself, it is the best time to do that. And if you get inspired by the new year to make health goals, to make financial goals, to make family goals, whatever it is, if the new, if the new year is what inspires you, go for it. I want to do something different. Before I share my goals with you, I want to give you some tips on how you can reach any goals that you set in 2019. Okay, before you even hear about what I got going, what I want to do, what I want to achieve, I want to help you put some things in place for you to reach your goals. And the best way I can do that is from sharing from my personal experience. Okay, as mentioned, I in 2018, a lot of the goals that I made actually happened. And that's wild. I sat back and I thought about 2018 and I thought about the, the stress of 2018 and the sadness and the hardness of 2018. And then I thought about the joy and the goodness and the memories that were made in 2018. And I thought about what I said I wanted to do in 2018. Now, not everything on my goal list happened, guys, but many things happened. I went to London. I have lost weight. I've grown in my relationship with the Lord. Y'all, I got into law school and I've completed my first semester of law school. Before I give you my goals, I'm going to give you four tips to help you achieve your goals. So tip number one, you have to plan specifically for what you want to happen. You want to make a plan that's specifically going to give you steps towards your goal. Don't just say something like, oh, in 2019, I want to get back into school. That's not going to cut it. Just saying that is not going to cut it. But but planning in 2019, I want to get back to school, into school. The first thing I'm going to do is look at the admissions process for any prospective schools that I want to go to. And I'm going to have all of that information gathered and I'm going to know what I need to do to apply to that school within three weeks right? That's specific. You're going to know what you need to do, how you need to go about doing it, and give yourself a time period for doing it. Tip number two, you're going to implement that plan for a specific time period. Um, what I mean by that is you're not just going to try one day and say that the plan is not working. I have found that um, those who give up quickly never succeed. Like seriously guys, we have to give ourselves a time period to even see if we're making good choices towards our goal. So you're going to give yourself a time period. If it's losing weight, you're going to say, I want to lose 10 pounds in a month, you know? And then if you break that down, that's like two and a half pounds each week. Let's say you're trying to save. So if you're trying to save a thousand dollars a month right? You want to, you want to put away a thousand dollars a month. So at the end of the year, you have this great savings. You're going to tell yourself every week I'm putting away $250 in the bank account to, to add up so that at the end of this month, I will have my thousands, my thousand dollars saved. And the third tip guys is to evaluate your success plan. What I mean by that because you have planned specifically and because you have implemented that plan for a particular time period, now you can go ahead and look back and see if you're making any strides towards your goal. 
When you evaluate, this is when you will choose to either adjust your plan or you'll choose to continue your plan. Either are fine, but at the evaluation stage, like once you've ended that particular time period, you're going to choose to say like, okay, I need to make some changes here and there because this isn't working. Or you need to say like, this is working so well and I'm just going to keep going. If you choose to make changes, remember that you need to you know, plan specifically for those changes. And then you need to give yourself a time period to see if those changes work so that you can evaluate again. That's when I see if I'm on the right track to um, make these goals happen. So evaluate, evaluate. And tip number four is to just never give up. Um, I know that sounds extremely um, cliche, right? Just don't give up. But guys, um, there is a reality that we get super excited around the new year and we're going for our goals and we're pushing towards them. And every a lot of people are doing it. So it's like we're super encouraged because it seems like everyone around us has a goal and they're shooting for it, right? But as time goes on, as February comes, as March comes, as April comes and you get closer and closer to the end of the year, it's easy to, to want to give up and it's easy to not have that same momentum. And so my... Last tip is just to not give up, to choose to keep fighting for your goals, to choose to keep planning, to choose to keep implementing Im implementing your plans, to evaluate your plans, and to never, ever give up on them. As always, this is your girl, Rose. Go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below. Go ahead and like this video. And until next time, peace. I, I, I got melanin. Oh, yeah.